Good day, everybody. So today we're going to be looking at the power head for my Dyson vacuum. Now we've had this thing for several years, and when I was using it the other day, I noticed it wasn't really picking up, you know, little threads and stuff off the carpet. And you'll see, hopefully you can see this, but it looks like a lot of these brushes are uh, worn out. In fact, this one's pretty much gone over here. So I went on Amazon and I ordered some new brushes for it. And I'm going to show you how to put them in. It's actually very easy on these vacuums. So if you'll see here, on both sides, there is a... Uh, now this is just a plastic screw, which I'm not a big fan of. Which means you're going to probably wear it out or break it. You give it a uh, quarter turn. And you do that for both of them. Now you're turning those counterclockwise, both of them. Now, you should see that this will rotate up or rotate around and it just comes out like that. Now there are two brushes in here. There's a long one and a short one. This guy here is your motor and it just plugs into the back and that's what spins it around. So that's our short one. Now, hopefully, they look pretty much the same. Now, you can just see, I have worn the bristles right off of this. There's a few still kicking in there, but there's not a whole lot left. And uh, obviously, compared to the new one, the new one looks much better. So, let's get rid of that. Now, to put it in... This has got like a rectangular hole in it here, and the shaft in there is rectangular. So put this in, and it should kind of fit into that slot. Obviously, this hole goes over this little metal shaft in here. Turn it back. Turn that screw clockwise voila let's do the other side here I've already uh, loosened this one off take that off so obviously this is the long brush uh, again has certainly seen better days all right same procedure Rectangular like hole. Just give it a little turn until it kind of snaps into place. Put your little hole, there's a little metal shaft in the end of that there. Make sure that engages. Kind of hear it click. Turn it down. Turn this clockwise till you get a click. Now we're raring to go. So hopefully with any luck, next time I vacuum, I won't have to sit there pushing down on the head to try and get it to pick up a measly thread off the floor. I am very happy with this Dyson vacuum. This is a DC-23. So uh, if anybody out there is looking for one, I suggest it. I know it's an older model. Maybe you can't find it. But they are easy to work on. Thanks for watching.